Good morning guys. Um, I'm going to talk about Linux and Intel this morning. Now, these are just kind of like little news bulletins that have come out about um, this particular area. I don't normally talk about Linux and um, Windows an awful lot in my videos but I, I want to kind of try and do that a lot more. And, um, you know, I'd, before I started using Apple and Mac, uh, I was actually um, quite heavily into Windows based PCs. I was a Microsoft certified systems engineer, never actually worked in the field but you know completed the course and got this uh, qualification. And um, later on and use after using PCs I was trying to find something different and went into Linux. Now when I went into Linux uh, back then it, it certainly wasn't the operating system that it is now. It's very um, it's very user friendly now, whereas back then it was a more it was a much more command prompt based uh, operating system, and quite difficult to use. Uh, didn't really support an awful lot of hardware and and you know other drivers that were available for it were quite difficult to get hold of. But anyway, you know the, the, it's a it's a, certainly an operating system that has come a long way and is um, it, it's good now because it, you know. It used to be Windows was the big main operating system um, and Apple had a very, very small following of people. Now the, the Mac OS X operating system has come on leaps and bounds as well. And also now, so it, it, the same has to be said for the Linux uh, community because Linux have got some incredibly good distributions out there, both, both desktop distributions and server distributions as well. Um, now what I want to talk about this morning is HP have, re have well reviews have come in for the HP Elite 7000 Micro Tower. Now this is a, a mid-range PC which is shipped with uh, Slate 11. Now that's SLED and that stands for SUSE Linux Enterprise Desktop 11. That's the uh, the latest SUSE distributions and you can pronounce that SUSE how you like. It's S-U-S-E. Uh, their parent company is Novell. Um, now, th this particular unit is comes with an Intel Core i7, 2.8 gigahertz, 3 gig of RAM, 160 gigabyte hard disk drive. Uh, it comes with an ATI Radeon uh, graphics card. Uh, it's also got Blu-ray in it as well. Um, now, the reviews that have come th through for this are saying that, you know, in terms of going on the internet media vi video editing of a low standard or you know mid, mid range standard and um, watching movies listening to music going on online documents that type of thing it's it's a good it's a good system but for high performance gaming it's it's not that great uh, it, it runs a little bit slow but it's good to see that you know with and and the actual tower itself as you can see there is it's quite a smart looking design and it's quite pleasing to see that uh, the, the Linux community is being supported quite well uh, at the minute. Now the other, um, the other news that I have is everybody is quite familiar with Ubuntu. Ubuntu is, um, I wouldn't say quite new, I, I'm not too sure how new Ubuntu is, but um, in terms of the likes of Red Hat and, and Suzy and those types of Linux distributions, it is quite new. Um, but Ubuntu are releasing a new um, version and it says that the new version is going to be released and declared stable in this April coming. Uh, the code name for it is Lucid Linux Lynx, and um, it's 10.04 is the release edition of it. Now, I'll put up a couple of um, images of the desktop environment but this promises to be from what I've read by uh, a guy called Dave Walker who seems to be kind of like the community leader of this particular distribution in, within Linux this this distribution is going to really revolutionize Linux and certainly transform it and hopefully bring in a lot more users um, make it more appealing to people who have used Windows and have maybe used Mac and, and you know want to just try something different. I mean it, 
when I went across the Linux, the reason why I went across the Linux was because I wanted to broaden my horizon. I didn't want to just sit and use Windows um, for the rest of my life. I wanted to I wanted to try and get in get involved with other operating systems. I, 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 when I went across the Linux, there was another operating system out at the time, and it was BOS B E O S B operating system, and it was kind of like a Unix based uh, operating system as well. Now I, I didn't really get into that as much as I did with the Linux, but that was a good operating system. So anyway, this new redesign of Ubuntu uh, ten point four is due out uh, or is released and declared stable in April, this April. Um, I mean, there's, there's lots of examples about it on now. People are showing video clips of it on YouTube, which I'm sure you can find. But it's really exciting times for Linux, I think, uh, in any case. Uh, the other news that I have is Suzy Linux, which is something that I've talked about in, uh, in, the, pa uh, uh, in the beginning of this video, sorry. Uh, their parent company is Novell. Now, Novell, by all accounts, seem to be under quite a lot of um, seem to be in quite a lot of trouble at the minute and are up for sale. Now, there's a, a business that's put a there's a business company in America that has put a bid in for Novell. But if that bid doesn't go through, uh, the reviews that I've read are saying that the likes of people like HP and Microsoft, uh, but especially Microsoft, is the main. Uh, concern could be coming in to buy Novell. Uh, obviously, Novell have got other um, sides to that business, like security of that that type of thing. But if wh whoever buys Novell will be going in for primarily for the Suzy Linux distribution side of things. Now, a lot of people are saying that um, Microsoft are looking to get into the open source market, uh, come alongside Linux, try and bring in Linux users and get their feedback and the, the, you know their their experiences and what have you to try and enhance I don't think they're trying to incorporate in, in, into Windows I just think they want to get into another side of the, the operating system from what I've read now what they're saying here is that if uh, if Microsoft do come in and they do take over Suzy you know how, I wonder how is that going to uh, you know shape the things of Linux to come. Do you think it would be a good thing if Microsoft took over uh, this particular distribution? Suzy has always been quite a um, a big distribution in the Linux community. And do you think it'd be a good thing if Microsoft came across? I mean, it, I think for me it would slightly worry me because Microsoft have always been. Um, I don't. I don't think they would keep the open source side of it uh, alive for too long. I, I could be, t you know, completely totally wrong there, but. Alongside um, Microsoft, there's obviously Citrix and Cisco, uh, and like I say, IBM and HP, who have co who could be competitors to to buy Novell and Suzy. So that's that's the other news. Okay, guys. So uh, last but not least, and I'll certainly try and get this thing very very quickly. Uh, Intel have brought out a new processor. It's called the Core i7 980X. Now this processor is reportedly so fast that it was uh, going to be called the Core i9. The, the processor itself uh, is codenamed Gulf Town. Um, it's quite an expensive processor, just £110, including VAT in this country, in the UK. Reportedly in the U uh, US, it's $999. Uh, so obviously quite expensive, but then again, you pay for quality in any case. But what they're saying is, before you rush out and buy this particular processor, you've got to really kind of um, ask yourself, what do you have running in your desktop environment that is going to harness the full power of this processor nothing nothing yet that we have in our desktop PCs um, is going to really f put this processor to its full potential uh, they're saying that this processor is going to be more aimed uh, at you know big workstations that type of thing but um, it certainly does show that the future of processing power that Intel are, are producing is um, certainly moving on leaps and bounds. Um, the next and uh, the last thing that I want to talk about is uh, Microsoft. Now Microsoft have lost in their uh, Microsoft Word patent suit. A company, a Canadian company called I4I, that's I and the number 4I, uh, sued the software company because, you know, sued Microsoft because of Something to do with the XML documents within Word, they had the patent on it and Microsoft shouldn't have put it in. Now, 
from what I'm led to understand, Microsoft were asked to pay compensation for £240 million in damages towards this company and the, the, um, the US District Court for the Eastern District in Texas have sided with this Canadian company in saying that Microsoft um, allegedly have not, um, what's the word, that they, they haven't tried to fulfill their end of the bargain and, you know, pay this company back in, um, in compensation. So, you know, this is going to be a big blow for Microsoft. It doesn't say whether they're still, because originally they were told that they wouldn't be able to uh, sell Word as a, an application, but it doesn't say whether that's going to be now set in place or what Microsoft, you know, do they have to do something in order to be able to continue selling Word. So um, hopefully more will come out about that quite soon. But at the end of the day, this is a this must be a big blow for Microsoft, and um, you know we just have to wait and see. I I think from what from what I've can gather that this is more primarily aimed at Word for the Mac Office um, suite. Uh, I'm not too sure whether it goes into the, it's for the Windows Office suite as well. But anyway. There you go guys, that's all the news that I have today, so thanks very much for watching and don't forget guys, follow me on Twitter and uh, you know, rate, leave your comments and uh, a guy left a comment the other day criticising some of the things that I put down on, on the last video. Guys, you know what, I'm only going to get better and you know, the guy was really apologetic for making the criticisms, I'm only going to get, my videos are only going to get better, so therefore for you. If you guys tell me where I'm going wrong, you know, I'm not perfect in any way. So uh, it's important that, you know, you give me uh, constructive criticism where it's needed. So, and, you know, I have no problems with that at all, guys. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for your support. See you all later. Bye.